got Toronto, New Jersey, 55-56 on the rotation here. We've got Jersey, minus 125 to minus 130. Home favorites here. Uh, the total six. This one's sl slightly shaded to the over, minus 115 to minus 120. It's hard for me to bet to Toronto uh, under the total right now. It really is. Other than one game against Winnipeg, uh, they've been an over machine lately. 5-2 the other night. Another over caches with their game against Buffalo uh, the other night. Uh, so, and the Leafs are fantastic. I mean, in terms of their offense, they've got it going right now. they got Marner with Kadri, which for weeks has worked great. They have this Nylander, Matthews, Hyman uh, top line unit's been absolutely fantastic had a huge night uh in their last game as well uh matthew's starting to play even better and better and better since he's come back from that injury uh he had a couple slow games at the beginning but boy he's coming on for uh, toronto no question about that new jersey at 95 points it's really simple i think all they pretty much need at this point in time is even i think just one point i think even a, a, a overtime or a shootout getting this game into uh, extra time will get new jersey uh, a playoff spot certainly a win will uh, but New Jersey uh, looking to get the job done tonight. It's just a question of when, not if. It's going to, you know, there's there's only one way New Jersey misses the playoffs. It's an epic collapse. It's one that I don't see happening. And I've talked about it. I said it Tuesday. You know, some of these things, we talk about these same teams over and over again. You start to sound like a broken record. But I know when it comes to New Jersey, I've said for earlier in the season, Taylor Hall was the only guy they could count on for offense. That's not the case anymore. You've got other guys stepping up that have provided secondary offense for this Devils team as well. Uh, and it's been a big catalyst into them scoring goals. New Jersey's been a scoring machine lately. They have been terrific offensively. Uh, we'll see if that can continue tonight. Interesting goaltending note for Toronto. They gave Frederick Anderson some rest uh, the last you know few games. He did not start either of the last two games for Toronto against Winnipeg and Buffalo. Curtis McElhaney was in net. They wanted to give him some rest before the playoffs. Anderson will start this game and the finale against Montreal. He's going to fi finish these last two games. That way, you know, there's going to be a little break between the end of the regular season and playoffs. He'll get a little more rest with that. And so Freddie Anderson, in terms of, you know, his workload, people are a little concerned about that. Uh, he got rested this week. He's going to start these last two games, have a little more rest going into the playoffs, and then he should be fine. So uh, if he struggles, it ain't going to be because he's tired. I mean, he, Mike Babcock and the Leafs have worked overtime to make sure uh, he is well rested and energized going into the playoffs. So you'll get Anderson and Nett for Toronto tonight. You know you'll get Keith Kincaid for New Jersey. He's run with this starting job in net for the Devils. He's completely taken it away from Corey Schneider. Why not? I think Schneider's lost 11 straight starts uh, at this point. It makes it's a no-brainer to keep riding Keith Kincaid. So uh, I'd expect Anderson and Kincaid to be your goalies. I'm reluctant here again to bet an under, to be honest with you. I really am. you got two offenses in good form. I think New Jersey's going to be aggressive, trying to make, uh, clinch this spot tonight. So uh, over six would be the way I'd go. Uh, Dana Lane, this is another game on your card, Leafs-Devils. Yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, this is a huge game for New Jersey. They can clinch a playoff spot. They can move three points ahead of Philadelphia for the first wild card spot. Um, Toronto has tied their franchise record for the most points in team history. And really the reason for that has been they've been incredible on, on the power play. And uh, I've said it a thousand times when we're looking at totals, I need teams that are good on the power play. I want to get those extra one or two goals. That's going to push the push the uh, uh, the total the total goals over the, the number, and certainly with with twenty, they've scored twenty times in their last twenty one games, so that certainly uh, qualifies. And I, you know, I've said the same thing about Pittsburgh forever as well. When it, when you have the ability uh, to roll out a guy like like James Van Riemsdyk, who has uh, who is a thirty six goal guy right now, may hit forty. When you have the ability to put him on your third line and feel good about it, I mean, you really have a team that is in the elite category uh, offensively. I don't always love all the line combinations, but it's working for them right now. Um, they have nine players that have 40 or more points. They have two defensemen uh, that have at least 50 or more points, which is almost unheard of. Um, and I've said, you know, from a devil's perspective, I've said most of the year, that I didn't think that very deep, probably, you know, past the, the Heesher and Holland. But, you know, as of late, they're starting to get some produ some production from Zajac. And um, I, I just, to me, there's no other option and then to go over in this. And I, I have a, uh, a tendency as the season, you know, gets deep and especially this time of year to go, to go over in a lot of these games because desperation equals a lot of goals. And, and then it, course at the end of the game you have the potential of the of not only the empty netter but two empty netters as well uh, I think you know, I think if New Jersey and Toronto stayed a form I mean this game flies over the total 
All right, Toronto, New Jersey over the total of six. Uh, of course, both of these teams played 5-2 games in their most recent games. Jersey beat the Rangers, Toronto beat Buffalo. If that stays true to form, you got a winner here uh, going over this uh, total, sitting at six. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.